Hello friends, welcome to our channel. In this video, you will learn another Python program to print the product of first n natural numbers. In the last video, we have seen how to print the sum of first n natural numbers. For example, if I take n value is equal to 5, the output of your program is 120. In other words, it is the product of 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 into 5 that is equal to 120. Again come back to this how our human brain compute this we are not going to multiply all these values at a time instead we are performing 1 into 2 the result is 2 store it in a temporary variable then the result of this 2 into 3 the result is 6 now 6 will be stored in the memory location then 6 into 4 that is equal to 24 then 24 into 5 that is equal to 120 in this way we are going to perform the product step by step in the case of programming language we have to take a variable that will be initialized to 1 if you want to sum the sequence of numbers then we have taken sum is equal to 0 when you want to do the product we have to initialize the value with 1 why 1 here? If I take 0, if I multiply 0 with any number, always the result will be 0. Finally, the total output also 0. That's why I am taking product is equal to 1. In the first iteration, the product value will be updated with old value 1 into first number in the sequence is 1. 1 into 1 is equal to 1. Product value is updated now. Then take the updated value and take the second number in the list into 2 the result is now 2 this is the updated value of product again then take the 2 updated value into the next number in the sequence that is equal to 3 here 2 into 3 is equal to 6 take this updated value 6 now and the next number in the sequence is 4 6 into 4 is equal to 24 take this updated value 24 again in the next iteration Next value in the sequence is 5, that is output is 120. This is a old update value and this is the iterated variable. For example, we will take a variable i for this. Now let's write the code here. I am taking a variable product that will be initialized to 1. Take a for loop for space, a variable, iterative variable here in range of the starting number here is 1 in the sequence. This is the starting number. It will be iterated. Comma. The ending number is here 5. If I take 5, then this 5 will be excluded in the list. So we have to take the n plus 1 value that is 6 here. Indentation. Product is equal to the old product value product into i. This is the statement. Come out of the for loop print of the product is comma product this is a simple logic to perform the product of i numbers save this program product of n numbers run this module the product is 120 here how this program is executed this range of list of range of 1 comma 6 contains a sequence of values 1 2 3 4 i value will start with 1 and it will end with 5 for every case initially 1 in this list that is 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 5 that is true here then 2 in 2 in this list true then 3 in this list true 4 in this list true 5 in this list true then there is no element in the list. If I take 6, 6 in this list is false. Then it will come out of the for loop and it will print the product value here. This is I am taking for only the product of 5 numbers. If I want to take it from the user, then you have to read a number value. Number is equal to int of input of enter a number. I am taking this number value from the user. In the for loop, we have to change range of 1. Starting value is 1 only. There is no change. Ending value is number plus 1. Why number plus 1 here? 
if I take number value, that will be excluded. That's why number plus one I am giving here. Save this program. Run this program. If I give it, enter a number 10, then you will get the product of 36288. Now we can write the same program with the help of a while loop. In the while loop, actually, the i value will not be automatically incremented. We have to initialize the i value that is equal to 1 while i less than or is equal to number up to this number of times that while loop is repeated the statement inside the while is product is equal to product into i there is no change in this statement after that you have to increment the i value in the case of for loop it will be incremented automatically if you are using while loop you have to add the initialization and increment but in the case of for loop this will be the initial value and this will be the condition up to this number it will be repeated save this program run this program if i give 10 you will get the product of 362880 when somebody asks you the write a program for factorial of a given number then you can write the same program the factorial formula is n factorial is equal to n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 and so on up to 1. For example, if I take 5 factorial, 5 factorial is 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. This is equal to 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 into 5. In this program, we have done the same thing 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 into 5. So, if you have any queries, please comment in the comment section. Thank you for watching.